Hello friends, my name is Becky and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you my most compact portable urban sketching kit or sketching outside plein air kit whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is essentially all the stuff that lives in the front pocket of my bag and I do bring this out on a daily basis so whenever I have 10-15 minutes I just pull it out to sketch. So let's get started. Uh, the first one I want to show is the sketchbook. So this is a Stillman and Burn Nova. So it's a toned sketchbook. And uh, what it does is it takes light washes ink. Um, it's about three and a half to five and a half inches. Um, there's a centimeter uh, specifications as well. So these are really compact and they're just really easy to pull out and I just start sketching. Um, so these drawings are stuff that I can do really, really, really easily. And um, I've basically I've just figured out that this is the my favorite size so I've done these sketchbooks as well this is an epsilon this is a beta um, this is an etcher a6 so it's about similar in size and I've also experimented with a handmade sketchbook so this is made of arches uh, 140 I think GSM and I think this is my favorite size for going out and sketching and then next we have a brush so I actually only have this. This is a Kuretake uh, water brush and it's it's a Japanese brand. Uh, you can see it says it's made in Japan and I love this because it's a flat and I so I what happens is this is how you can fill it up. You open it up like so and I fill it in with a blunt syringe and it actually holds quite a bit of water. So this water level is after I've taken it out for two sketches but I guess I do use quite light washes and the water level is still quite high uh, but yeah having a water brush just really eliminates the need of having a water cup and whenever I have paint dirty I can just wash it off in a rag like so this is just from my pocket tissue paper that I pulled out yesterday um, so I can just wipe off the excess and I actually don't even wipe out of the colors too much i just do it when i really want pure colors so maybe if it's, it's a white for some clouds uh then i'll pull it out um i also have this water brush and this is with diluted ink so this is diluted lexington's gray um i don't have a much of it left but honestly a little bit goes a really long way uh you just i know it seems like not a lot of water but i've never filled this up since my first sketchbook back in February 2021 and I do sketch quite often so it's it's really you'd be really surprised at how long this lasts you if you use it just for light washes and next I want to show off my palette because this might be my favorite bit out of this whole tool so this is from our toolkit it's called a pocket palette and this is a palette that's created by Maria Coriel Martin or Expeditionary Art and here I have a mix of standard pants, which are these rectangular ones. Um, they hold about a half a half pan, so about a quarter pan. And then these are their mini pants, and they all hold about one eighth of colors. And actually, I started off with ten colors. This has always been a mixing plate that I just kept there. These are my home mixing space. I started with ten, and then as I experimented, I just learned I I wanted some more colors. So those with high tinting strength, I put them in these smaller sizes because I don't run out of them as often or I just only need a little bit of them to, to really go a long way. And then um, because I started using this toned uh, sketchbook, I really needed a white uh, because I needed that opaqueness to show through because otherwise I wouldn't be able to hit the lights that I want to hit. Um, so this is white wash. Or sometimes I use white gouache, sometimes I use, um, this is a Chinese white from my 24 set of Holbein 5ml uh, uh, watercolor set and it's really opaque, Holbein is really really opaque and I really really like it. And um, sometimes I'll pour that in here, sometimes I'll use uh, whatever white gouache is left on my palette and I'll just squeeze out some titanium white. In there or I'll scrape it and put it in here when I'm drawing in the studio um, and by studio I mean my flat and then um, I like white in this small pan because I do tend to like them fresh I know this is a little bit of dried out but 
it's it's something that I can feel quite often. Before I was just putting the white here on this corner and, and the color just bleeds, but yeah, I've had this palette for over a year now and I've just been, I've never washed it. I don't even know, oh, you can see, I think it's a bit dented over here, but overall, it holds up really, really, really well. It's been with me daily for more than a year and uh, sometimes when it's a bit humid like today, the pants stick to the mixing palette, but you know, it's okay and it adds a little bit more color uh, to the uh, to the, the, the mixing tray, so I really don't mind. And then next up, I have this pocket mister. This is something that I, that's really, really small, but it spreads out really, really well. So if I do want to dive in straight to a painting and I want to use some more, you know, expressive colors, uh, I use this up to wet the pants for similar to what you would do um, with a dry palette in your studio. And it just really helps reactivate the paints a lot quicker. Uh, I've got some clips. Whenever it's a bit windy, I can clip down the pages or I can even clip um, the palette to this page. Let me try. So if I put it on this side and I want to clip it, it's possible. And I'll just sketch on the right. But it's quite rare that I do it. Sometimes I just hold it um, because it's possible to hold everything with, with uh, one hand since everything is so small. And uh, next up, I have my paints. So these are whole mine watercolor paints, but really any any liquid paint works there. I just happen to have Holbein because uh, since I'm based in Hong Kong, Holbein is actually uh, from Japan originally. So it's really easy to source Holbein and it's not um, that expensive versus getting the Western brands, which would be a lot pricier um, just due to the location factor. And yeah, this is my tissue that it just always slips. I just always have a pack in my bag. So, um, and this one really, I stretch it out for a long time. I just keep using one side at a time uh, because it dries anyway. And I even, you know, fold it wet and it bleeds through, but just stays within itself. And then lastly, pens. Mm. There are days when I use it, there are days where I don't, but when I do use it, so the, this is a Kaweco. Kaweco, Kaweco Sport. Um, it's made of plastic and I filled it with Yatromes Document Black Ink. And I can show you what it looks like there. So this is a converter. It holds the ink. It's waterproof ink. And so what happens is I can just uh, do my sketches and then I'll do a wash over it and I'm not worried at all at how the, the ink will hold up because it will not run. And this one is also an interesting one. This is a Sailor Fude de Manen. So De Manen, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So Kaveco is a German pen. This is a Japanese one. And this is called a Fude pen because the end is bent like so. So if you tilt it, depending on how you tilt it, you can get some thick and thin uh, lines. And this is also filled. Oh, I have a little bit left only. So this is filled with the Atromus document urban sienna and i have been using this to sketch quite a bit and i really like making bold strokes so i need to fill this up soon uh but yeah so in a nutshell this is all i have in my kit and let me show you how i pack it up so these clips just usually live in the bottom of my bag and then i put in the kit and the tissue like so I put in my mister and my gouache, put in my pen, and I put in my water brush. And this is essentially my set. These are stuff that live in my bag, but sometimes I don't even fish it out. And these are my, I would say these are my essentials. And this is my most compact setup for um, going out urban sketching. And every time, yeah, every time I have time, even when I'm commuting. I would just pull this out and that's it. Well, thank you guys for tuning into my video. If you like this video and if you want more contents like this, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, the red shiny one over there. And please leave a comment below on what you might want to see in the future. Or even if you have some comments and you've used these tools before and just want to uh, tell me your experience with it. It'll be really, really great to connect with more artists over here on the internet. 
and stay safe everyone happy sketching